What is going on students? Today we're going to memorize this unit circle. Check the description box to jump to a specific part of the video. So we're just going to get started right away before I lose you. Let's start at zero degrees. Anytime I pass a blue line or an X or Y axis, I just need to add 45. So we're going to start with degree measurements. First blue line, 45 degrees. Add another 45 degrees for this Y axis. So now I'm at 90. Add another 45. Now I'm at 135. And just continue that pattern throughout the whole circle, just focusing on X and Y axis and blue lines. 180, add another 45, 225, 270 on the Y axis at the bottom right there, add another 45, 315, 360 degrees. So similar pattern that we're doing, the red lines are one third of 90 degrees and one third of 90 is 30. So we just have to count by 30s for the red lines. 30, 60, 90 is already labeled. So we're doing the same thing, except now we're focusing on red. 120, 150, 180 is already labeled. 210, 240, 270, 300 degrees, 330, and now we're back at 360. So that's not too painful. In the unit circle when we're in radians now, we're gonna start with zero. Every blue line is one fourth. Similar pattern to what we did with degree measurements. I'm gonna do it counting by one fourth. One fourth pi, and you're gonna have to simplify in your head because the next one, this is gonna be two over four and two over four is the same as one half pi. Three over four, four over four is the same as one pi. 5 over 4, 6 over 4 simplifies to 3 halves, 7 over 4, and 8 over 4 as a full circle, 8 divided by 4 is 2 pi. And we got one left, the red lines, doing the same thing but in radian mode. If you look at this, this is a half pi, right? This is one third of one half, and one third of a half is the same as one sixth. So we just have to count by one sixth. 1 over 6 pi. 2 over 6 simplifies to 1 third pi. 3 over 6 is a half. 4 over 6 is the same as 2 thirds pi. 5 over 6. We're almost there. I know this is getting repetitive. 6 over 6 is 1. 7 over 6. 8 over 6 simplifies to 4 thirds pi. 9 over 6. 10 over 6 simplifies to 5 thirds pi. 11 over 6. And now we're finally done with labeling degree measurements and radians. Moving on to the coordinates, let's do the easiest ones first. This first coordinate at zero degrees is just one zero. This point right here is zero one. Zero on the x axis, one on the y. Back over here is negative one zero, and the one at the very bottom in between the third and fourth quadrant is zero negative one. 12 more coordinates guys and we are done with this but the beauty about this is you don't have to remember much and I'll give you a strategy. The first strategy to notice is that everything here is going to be divided by two so you can quickly put fill that in. This is how I fill it out to go as fast as possible. Before I fill in the numbers because that's not going to be too bad I got a strategy for you guys. I like to fill in the negative and positive numbers, and that's just knowing your coordinates in the four quadrants. In quadrant one, you know that everything is positive. In quadrant two, all your X values are negative. So I just put that right away. Negative, negative, negative. In quadrant three, everything is negative. All your X and Y values are negative. And in quadrant four, only your y values are negative. So that takes care of some confusing parts just to make it easier for myself and for you guys too. All right, now focusing on the numbers. There's a pattern to it. Here's the pattern. You're gonna start with the 60 degrees or one third pi right here, and you're just gonna count. One, two, three. And for the y values, you're just gonna count again. One, two, three. Everything on the numerator is going to be square rooted and the square root of one is just one So that simplifies you don't have to square root one What you do to the three square root square root square root and the square root of one again is one and that's it so Like if you remember quadrant one the rest of it is pretty much copy and paste You just have to know which points match 
if you look at quadrant four, we'll do this one first. Quadrant four, 30 degrees match 330. So that's gonna be square root of three right here. And the Y value is going to be one on the numerator. So once you got that, then you just have to count either forwards or backwards. If that's a three, this is gonna be two, one. That's a one, this is gonna be two, that's gonna be three, and then pop in the square roots. We don't square root negative one, so leave that alone. And when you square root the negative, just make sure the negative's on the outside. Now we just gotta copy and paste to the other quadrants and we are done. If you look at this, this is just the mirror version over the Y axis. So that's going to have one for X and three for Y. And once you got those, just count forwards or backwards. So this is gonna be one, two, three, and three, two, one. Pop in the square roots, and we got one quadrant left. So use any kind of reference point. This one right here, 150 degrees, matches the one at 210, and it's reflected over the x-axis. So just make sure that you fill them in correctly. That's gonna be three, so this is gonna be three. That's gonna be one, and then either count forwards or backwards like what I did. Two, one, one, two, three. Pop in the square roots, make sure the negative's on the outside, and that is a check. I'm gonna check my work just to make sure. I got this unit circle straight out of Google, so maybe download one, see if you learned something. Hopefully I helped you. And if I did help you, make sure you like and subscribe for other math lessons. But until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.